Well, some are calling it the pandemic within the pandemic. The toll COVID-19 is taking on our mental health. And tonight there's concern there could be some long-term effects. CBS 13's Heather Jansen with the story, all new at 6. It's not knowing where, you know, your check's going to come from. A difficult year for Savannah Sims. Despite the realities of the pandemic, she tries to find good among the bad. Positivity is ultimately what makes things. But the struggle to stay positive gets harder each day. For me, it's been kind of tough. Joseph Basada opened about his anxiety and depression, wondering how many like him will go back to normal someday. Well, I think it's definitely going to stick in a lot of people's minds. Data from the CDC shows 40% of Californians reported struggling with symptoms of anxiety last month. As we get more people who want the service, it's getting a little bit harder to maintain that. David Bain with Sacramento's chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness says he's seen a notable increase over the last year. It'll take longer to get out of this pandemic than it will the COVID pandemic. Lingering long term, some dealing with loss and grief, others just reacclimating to life and getting over new anxieties. So close to the end, psychiatrist Dr. Peter Yellowly says it's important to check in. So the problem with that phase is that people frequently um, don't help each other enough. Reminding people to get help and make future plans with loved ones. Planning ahead is absolutely fine. I just wouldn't buy the plane tickets yet. Remembering hope is on the horizon even when it seems like there's no end in sight. The hardest hit ages, psychiatrists say children missing school and seniors missing their families have been among those dealing with the most anxiety and the most depression.